Here's a Meteor Mark weather update. I was going to do my Jul our August outlook uh, for precipitation and temperatures and tropical outlook, but I'm going to head into this because we have a development in the tropics. First, let's take a look at Jason Scholler here, uh, what we got going on uh, from him. And this was uh, storms that happened, I believe, on Saturday. And at uh, 12.45 a.m., the National Weather Service confirmed it was straight line wind damage and lightning shattered many of the trees. He thought it was a tornado at first, but that has been disproven. You can see the, uh, the power lines here with the trees across it. And many of them were snapped off by the wind as well as struck by lightning. So this was the scene across much of the area on uh, la or, uh, Saturday, especially Saturday evening. So this occurred across much of uh, New England, and this was the story uh, of wind damage and deadly lightning. Deadly lightning is just as worse as damaging wind and large hail. So uh, heed the warnings when they talk about destructive lightning in the area. And... Uh, Let's take a look at uh, Kate Nate sent. Uh, she uh, talks about uh, last night. There were, I issued a tornado outlook box for the Pittsburgh area, and she talks about how she saw a funnel cloud, but it dissipated luckily. So that's a that's a good thing. Uh, we don't want any funnels touching the ground. And we head over to uh, Derek Rentschler. And this this happened uh, this would have happened on July 22nd because he said it happened the evening before. There was a lot of uh, damaging wind, but most importantly, torrential rains that caused six to eight inches of rain. Uh, he had a lot of flooding, thunder, and lightning in his area. The power plant in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania, had to release steam from the power plant, made a lot of noise. There's a lot of lightning strikes that were causing a lot of power fluctuations in the area and power outages. Uh, this is WHTM ABC 27 News in Lebanon County, Pennsylvania. So if you want to find out more, there's more, but th th check it out because there's a lot happened that uh, happened there the previous the other evening uh, with the passage of the cold front and uh, a lot of a lot of uh, damage that occurred, a lot of thunderstorms, showers that occurred across the area that just sat over the same areas and dumped a lot of rain, a lot of creeks and streams out of their banks. I believe this would have been Monday evening, so it wasn't too long ago. Thank you, Derek, for sending or sharing that. Let's get right into the tropics. I am Tropical Storm Dorian here. Take a look at this. Let me show you the satellite picture here. Getting very well defined on the satellite picture. And uh, we're going to continue to watch this system here. Here's the track. It's uh, just west of the Cape Birds now, chugging right along towards the west-northwest. It's a minimal to moderate tropical storm as far as the wind gusts. And this system is going to continue towards, it should bring it just north of the Lesser Antilles and the U.S. Virgin Islands here, and just north of Puerto Rico within time, within the next week or so. And this should bring it north, but then it'll start to bend more towards the west uh, towards the end of the forecast period uh, into next later mid to later portion of next week as this Bermuda high builds in and pushes the storm a little bit further west. One thing to note too, the system is not expected to become a hurricane in the next say uh, five to eight days which should keep the system further south uh, that uh, instead of recurving and finding weakness in the subtropical ridge out here in the Atlantic. So this should keep the system more towards the west and within time it's too early to tell but the interests along the east coast and the gulf of mexico the bahamas in through puerto rico the lesser antilles u.s virgin islands you should all be paying attention to this storm because the storm really strengthened pretty much overnight here and now we're dealing with a full-fledged tropical storm tropical storm dorian so pay quite attention to this storm this is our fourth named storm of the season we're well ahead of schedule as expected here in the uh, third week of July. So let's take a look at the uh, weather we're looking at across the nation here. We're dealing with much cooler temperatures here into your uh, Thursday across much of the Northeast. A lot of 60s and even some 70s across portions of the Ohio Valley extending on into New England. A lot of 60s here in upstate New York heading on into northern and central New England. And here across the south we're dealing with that stalled out frontal boundary which is beginning to cause some problems here across the midsection here from Oklahoma up to eastern Colorado, extending down towards Arkansas, 
and then we'll see some problems up here too in eastern Iowa, in northern Illinois, and extending over towards western portions of Missouri. So we're going to continue to watch this area for strong to severe thunderstorms. Heat will also start to build here, but here in the east, a nice cool condition will remain. Heading on into today on uh, Friday, TGIF, this system pretty much a high pressure system stays in control of the northeast. It might get a little bit warmer, 70s and even some low 80s in the big cities of the northeast. Here in the central plains, we continue with this flash flooding threat across much of the midsection of the country. Uh, quantitative precipitation amounts across the countries through this weekend. We're looking at most of the lion's share of the precipitation across the central and southern plains here, Oklahoma City, down towards Little Rock could be seen upwards of three to six inches of rain. That's a lot of rain. Hopefully it'll be spaced out over the next several days as opposed to all happening in one day. That's what we think. So this is better news for that. Here in Florida, continuing wet. And here in the Northeast, not a lot to talk about, and that's a good thing. We need a break from the heat and humidity that's been going on and a lot of showers and thunderstorm activity that we had during the last several days. I will be here on Tropical Watch. Uh, with Tropical Storm Dorian, and we continue to watch this system. This system could pose a clear and present danger to the United States and all the United States interests, as well as the islands, and uh, all the way from uh, Haiti, Dominican Republic, even Cuba, Bahamas, and Lesser Antilles, U.S. Virgin Islands, even Bermuda, the U.S. East Coast, Gulf of Mexico, all should be paying attention to this storm during the next couple weeks. Like me on Facebook, Amita Mark. Subscribe to me on YouTube, AmitaMark.com. Here's a four-day forecast for my hometown viewers from Binghamton, Telmyra, and the northern tier counties of Pennsylvania. We're looking on into the day on your Thursday. Looking quite nice and uh, a little bit cool, but that's a good thing. We're starting off cool. Look at this. 45 for low in some of the colder valleys from Elmira down to Scranton. A lot of cool air, and that's a good thing for sleeping, so enjoy it. Here on into TGIF, sunny, Saturday and Sunday. We may get a stray shower or a thunder shower Saturday or Sunday, but we're not talking about an all-day washout. Look at these overnight lows. They're pretty conducive for sleeping, so if you're into sleeping and you want to get a good night's rest and you don't have an air conditioner, this was good for you. So enjoy the rest of your week and weekend. That's going to do it for Meteo Mark.